big win over our truth champ. Thanks. You're not mad I beat your friend? If I got mad every time he lost a 24-7 championship, I'd be a very angry person. <laughs> Good point. I actually wanted to ask a favor. I'm always looking to improve my in-ring skills, and since you seem to be on a roll, would you watch my next match and let me know what you think? Yeah, sure. No problem. Thanks. And there you see the 24-7 champion checking out Carmella's match. Looks like he's seen enough. Wait, our truth from behind. What's going on here? It, it looks like they have a communication breakdown backstage, and oh my god, there they go. Yeah. Oh my gosh, terminating knee smash. Oh, that hurt. Crafty way to get out of harm there. Oh, did we just see a tooth fly out? He's got the answer for that one. Oh my gosh, terminating knee smash. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Oh no, this isn't gonna be good. Flapjack! Ouch! What a punch! Truth caught by surprise. Boom! A forearm smash! Picture perfect drop kick. Stomping down! He steers clear of contact. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Just mounted with punches. And not, oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. My goodness, look at this burst of strikes. He's going for the pin, this could be it. One, two. Ah, barely kicks out. Handle. <laughs> Left foot hospital, right foot graveyard. Hoist it up. Boom! Feast your eyes. Cover. One, two, three. And this one is over. Hello, Mr. McMahon. I'm here for the meeting you requested. <laughs> Made me wake up early to come down here and then you're nowhere to be found. Nice. Hello, Mr. McMahon? Anyone? Ha <laughs> ha, hey there, pal. Just getting a last second workout in over here. Come on over and join me. Let's see what you're made of. One.
What did you want to talk to me about? I realize this is kind of a big ask, but I want to defend my WWE Championship against John Cena. Beating him would solidify my title reign and put me up there with some of the top champions of all time. So, any chance you can make that happen? You know, maybe give him one of those mandates to show up and face me? Yeah, I wish it was that easy. I mean, don't you think I've already tried to get Cena to appear on Raw before? He would bring instant star power along with a guaranteed ratings boost. But the reality is he's busy with various TV and film projects and isn't interested in a return right now. So it's pretty much a lost cause. If I were you, I'd focus on something else. I wouldn't be where I am today if I just quit anytime I was up against some adversity. I'm gonna get John Cena to come back to WWE and face me. And how are you going to do that? I'm going to take a little trip down memory lane and revisit some of Cena's career highlights. Maybe that will get his attention. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 178 pounds. The WWE Champion, the Superstar. After an illustrious football career through college, this athlete couldn't fit in with a team that best suited his style of play. He felt like a man without a country until he arrived at the Performance Center where he found a new purpose as a competitor. Keeps his focus 100% of the time. That's why he's the champion. Well, I'd say this is anything but awesome. He's spoken like a true jealous Z-lister, Saxton. You're not even allowed on this side of the velvet rope. And his opponent from Hollywood, California, weighing in at 221 pounds, the Miz! Miz has it all, Byron. I think you're just jealous. I really think you're jealous of everything Miz has accomplished in his career. I respect what Miz has accomplished in his career. In fact, you might say one day Miz might be a, a future WWE Hall of Famer. Miz asked me to ask you to be quiet throughout his match here tonight. Sure he did. He wants A-list commentary from me and Graves. Uh... The Red Brand's rolling out the red carpet tonight as the current WWE Champion has invited none other than The Miz to Monday Night Raw to square off one-on-one. -on -one. It's a heck of a gambit, Michael, using The Miz to provoke one of WWE's greatest champions of all time, John Cena. And it's a gambit that could easily blow up in the WWE Champion's face. Ooh. Oof, smacked by the back fist. Jumping knee strike. I like that. Time knee rocks his opponent. Eat defeat. Ooh, well measured. Scores the reversal on Miz. Double axe handle. He takes control. How's that for a counter?
Put into the corner now. Ow. Oh my gosh! Wasting absolutely no respect on his opponent. You gotta love it. Setting it up. Boom! The Miz at the complete mercy of his opponent. Ah, looking so awesome for Miz here. The contact. Was mounted with punches and not. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, look at this combination of strikes. Oh, my God, 11 arms and feet. Torch of their opponent. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. He's absorbed some damage already. From way up top, a double axe handle. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And to the pay window. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away.
This kind of win establishes him to the world. An important win for him in this one. Yep, that's what we call a good day at the office. So this whole Cena thing, hate to say I told you so, but you know what? I don't hate it at all. I told you so. I know how it looks from your perspective, but I promise it's going to work. I just need more time. And besides, I never said this would be easy. Fine, but if you don't get at least some kind of acknowledgement soon from Cena, then I'm pulling the plug. What's your next move? Spotlighting a major loss didn't seem to work, so I'm going to go in the other direction. Oh yeah, I actually got wind of your idea for this already. Trying to replicate Cena's first WWE Championship win by beating JBL? Don't think it's going to matter, but I'll make it happen. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 178 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Superstar. No one ever thought he'd leave pro football, but when he experienced the rush of competing in the ring, his focus changed. Trading football cleats for wrestling boots was a bold move, but he's a natural competitor who's driven to reach the top of WWE. It's this simple for the champ. Win no matter what the stakes are. He's held the WWE title, Intercontinental title, and U.S. title. He's a member of the WWE Hall of Fame and a bona fide wrestling god. Hey, guys, have I ever told you that JBL is a really good friend of mine? That's a lie, Byron. Corey, you think JBL will pay the medical facility bills for his opposition tonight? Fresh off a big win against The Miz, the WWE Champion will try to get John Cena's attention one more time tonight against one of Cena's former WrestleMania foes, JBL. JBL's a Hall of Famer that can still go in the ring and has a Hall of Fame voice to boot. Give that butt kiss and arrest, Saxton. I'm just stating facts, Corey. Oh, man. Oh, the reversal by JBL. it back onto him. Counter after counter. Had that one scouted. Oh, look at the 
kicks right to the midsection. Oh. And he follows it up with a big one in the face. Yeah. Oh, my God. What a kick. Oh. He's got him scouted. Yeah. Oh, what a counter. Utilizing a little pen jack select. Like he's got 11 arms and feet. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. He went right into that turnbuckle. Effectively using the knee. Cover. JBL has to gather the energy to turn the tables. He's able to sidestep there. Thunder is clothesline. Oh, there was a potential opening with Cena, and you blew it. I don't think it's over. Are you crazy? He turned you down and then you insulted him? We can forget about a match. He probably won't even come back for a simple appearance now. So thanks for that. I'm telling you, I think I struck a nerve with him. And a man like that is too proud to just let that go. Let me do one more thing to get his attention, and if this doesn't work, then I'll move on. You've already tried one more thing, two or three times. He's gonna respect the fact that I won't give up. And then you'll get your star power and your ratings boost that you want so bad. Ugh, what do you wanna do? I want The Undertaker. What? Let me explain. Cena was in the exact same position I'm in with The Undertaker a few years ago at WrestleMania. He was so desperate for a match he bought a ticket and sat in the audience waiting. When Undertaker eventually did appear, Cena lost in five minutes. I remember all that. What's your point? I want to send Cena a final message by doing what he couldn't do at WrestleMania. I want to defeat The Undertaker. That's really pushing it, but I think I can make it happen. And if Cena sticks to his word and never answers your challenge, then at least I'll get the ratings boost I was looking for with The Undertaker. And if Cena does change his mind, then even better. All right. Looks like you got yourself a match against the Phenom. his way to the ring from New York, weighing in at 178 pounds, the WWE Champion, the Superstar, 
He's done a good job of adjusting from pro football to competing on his own in the ring. Pro football is such a team sport, but when you're in the ring one-on-one, -on -one, there are no teammates to rely on. That's how he wants it. The champ knows the competition level's at an all-time high. He needs to show he's above all competitors. an atmosphere unlike anything you will see. Talk to anyone who's ever been in the ring opposite The Undertaker and they will tell you nothing prepares you for this. The stoic walk of the dead man. An unspeakable reign of terror over the WWE. And this is the moment where there is no turning back for The Undertaker's opponent. Welcome to damnation. The WWE Champion has been on a roll, but tonight the champ will have to take his game to an entirely new level as he takes on the incomparable WWE legend, The Undertaker. It's the WWE Champion versus the Dead Man on Raw. This is huge! I have a feeling that even John Cena is going to be taking a break from his busy Hollywood schedule to watch this one. That's certainly the champion's plan. Let's see if it works. some danger. We may be seeing a dead man walking. Undertaker retaliates. So much damage inflicted. Enough already. 
Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. There he goes, right into the corner. See, he is feeling it now. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. Nice suplex. Vertical suplex. Jarring impact. Somehow he saw a taker coming. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Things went from bad to worse. an accomplishment like that, but I think the champion still has other things on his mind. John Cena, over the past few weeks, I've done everything I can to prove to you that I'm worthy of a match, that I'm worthy of your time. I mean, I just beat The Undertaker, which is something you couldn't do. So you know what? Maybe Maybe I've been looking at this the wrong way. Maybe it's not about proving that I'm worthy of your time. Maybe you're not worth mine. I have to agree with the WWE Champion here. It's time to move on from this whole John Cena thing. Wait a second. It's John Cena! The face of WWE has come home! I can't believe it. After weeks of unanswered challenges and then Cena himself saying it wasn't going to happen, the WWE Champion has gotten John Cena to return to Monday Night Raw. And there you have it. Cena is back for one thing, the WWE Championship. Hey, this is a matchup that no one thought we'd ever see. And now it looks like it's happening. This is going to be one for the ages. exciting title match in WWE history. The result of this WWE Championship match will reverberate throughout all of WWE for a long time. I could not agree more, Michael. Whoever comes out on top stakes their claim at the top of the mountain in WWE. I, for one, cannot wait to see how all this shakes out.
Here comes the 16-time world champion. Uh, not just a 16-time world champion, a Hollywood phenomenon, and a man who embodies the meaning of superstar. with your feet tied up like that. I am the counter. Firm control. Oh, man. Kick to the face. Reversal. Can he take advantage? Improving a bit slippery for them there. Oh, knee smashing the face. Top rope. Here we go. Incoming. Cena's starting to falter here. Cena's just trying to weather the storm. And Cena puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. Cena. We're seeing why they call him Big Matt John. Yeah, the greatest of all time. John Cena, the 16-time world champion. Man. You can't see him. Still got more left in the 
tank. And Cena finds himself on the receiving end. Oh, shot to the jaw. This is it, guys. The title is up for grabs here. And this might be the most highly anticipated title defense in recent memory. Social media buzzing as it always does when this competitor defends his title. This is going to be good. Here come. 
becomes the personification of longevity and hard work. The 16-time world champion. Introducing the challenger Mr. McMahon is from West Newberry, Massachusetts, playing in at 251 pounds. Not a John in sports Cena. entertainment. Michael, it's got to feel like yesterday for you when you saw John Cena win his first WWE and Introducing the champion from John New York, playing in at 178 pounds. You call me he is the WWE no, champion, the superstar. To hold one of the biggest titles in WWE means you're one of the best in the industry. Welcome to what should be one of the most brutal championship matches we've ever seen between the defending WWE champion and one of the most decorated superstars in WWE history. John Cena as they face off in a last man standing match. That means that one of these two extraordinary athletes will need to keep the other down for a full 10 count to walk out of here tonight with the title. It's hard enough keeping Cena down for a three count, let alone 10. Let's see if the WWE Champion has what it takes to pull it off. Uninterrupted surge against Cena here. Cena neat launching. Diving foot stop. Brutal. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Oh my gosh. Terminating knee smash. On oh, the reversal by Cena. And 
stopping the count for some reason. What's that all about? He's not ready for it to be over yet, Cole. We got a long way to go. Boom! Oh. <laughs> Running knee left. Table, looking to end this in spectacular fashion. Right here, so this has gotten out of hand. This has gone too far. This match definitely isn't for the fan of heart section or table enthusiasts. Three. Comes back into the ring. Four. He's doing a whole lot of gesturing, and it could cost him. Headed to the top now. Close to 10 here. Now you gotta dig deep. Eight. And he'll stand to break the count and keep this one going from the top. Oh, oh. God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Yeah. Taken to the air and completely wiping oh. out. Cena now taking the front of the attack. Cena has to find a way to reassert himself. Yeah. So accurate. Ruthlessly compounding the damage now. Cena warded him off. And Cena puts a quick stop to the momentum that was mounting against him. He's trying to bring the fight back in this one. Out of the ring. What's his plan here? Off the barricade. A dangerous situation out here at ringside. This could sort your career. Oh, the barricade got first. An imposing array of offense from him here. It's obvious to see how focused he is now. He deflects it right back. Cena here. Cena's perseverance being tested. Was mounted with punches and not. Yeah. Producing a trample. He's one step ahead there. Could be what Cena needed to ignite a rally. And that cuts Cena right off. And just like that, stopping the referee's count, continuing this match. Obviously has plans to add more insult to injury here. And the unabated offense continues. He's got to reevaluate his approach at this point. Looking to pile on more offense rather than let the count go on. We'll slide back in the ring now. He's piling up the damage now. This is sadistic. Left by the turnbuckles. Heading up, he's thinking back. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. An absolute statement by the victor here tonight.